Hey everyone, just a quick update before we get into today's video, that deepweb.pw is back online in the form of a blog. So on top of the traditional list of onion links that were there previously, there's now a whole bunch of other posts and more to come about uh, accessing the dark web over Tor, over VPN, and other topics about how to stay secure online. So be sure to go ahead and check that out, and if you like it, bookmark it, subscribe to the RSS feed, etc. On with the video. Hey everyone, Brendan Goodenough here, and today we'll be looking at how to access the dark web using the Tor browser. Now, Tor is a software that allows you to anonymize your identity while browsing the internet, it allows you to bypass censorship, and it even allows you to access the Tor hidden services, also known as onions. The first thing we need to do is to download the Tor browser. So head on over to torproject.org and click on the download Tor button and download the correct version for your operating system. If you're on Windows, simply run the executable and follow the installation instructions to install the Tor browser somewhere on your computer. If you're on Linux, simply extract the archive to wherever you want. And if you're on Mac, simply drag the Tor browser app to your applications folder. Next up, go ahead and run the Tor browser, and this will open up a screen prompting you to connect to the Tor network. Now, for most of us, you can simply click on that connect button and that will establish a connection to the Tor network and open up the Tor browser. However, if you're in a country that senses Tor, or you want to configure a, you want to configure Tor to use a proxy, simply go ahead and click on the configure button and you can change those settings there. Now, I don't need any of these settings, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uncheck them, go back and click on connect. Now, this will go ahead and establish a connection to the Tor network. And once that's done, it will open up the Tor browser. Now, this may take some time for your first run, uh, but usually it's fairly prompt and doesn't take too long. Once we have successfully established a connection to the Tor network, the Tor browser will open up. But just to double check that we are in fact connected, let's head on over to check.torproject.org. And if we are in fact connected to the Tor network, we should see a green, congratulations, this browser is configured to use Tor message. You'll also notice that your IP address listed here will be different from your actual IP address. Now, before we go any further, we need to change some security settings that will help protect us while we are browsing the dark web. To do this, simply go ahead and click on the onion icon on the top left of your browser, and you'll notice a drop down with a few different options. The first option here is new identity. Clicking on this will restart the Tor browser and reestablish a connection to the Tor network in turn giving you a new IP address. Next up, we have our security settings. Clicking on this, you'll notice a new window appears for changing the security settings. It's just a very simple slider. I would highly recommend you change this to be safest. What this will do is it will block any JavaScript on any website and any media that comes along will be click to play. You will have to physically click a button to play that media. Now, unless you really, really trust the website that you're browsing, I would highly recommend you leave the settings set to safest, especially when you're browsing dark web Tor hidden services. To save your settings, go ahead and click on OK. And the final thing in the drop down here that we have is the Tor network settings, which is pretty much the exact same as was in that configure section when the browser first started up. The most popular dark websites are the Tor hidden services, which have addresses ending with .onion and they're only accessible over the Tor network. Now you can find a list of these over at deepweb.pw, which is a website slash blog that I run. And there's an article dedicated to listing onion links. I'll put a link directly to the onion links article in the description of this video. And if you scroll down on this page, you can find a short list of some useful onion links. Some of the onion links listed include DuckDuckGo, a really nice anonymous search engine for the surface web, as well as a couple of other search engines for searching for more dark web Tor hidden services. Now, as an example, I'm going to go ahead and open up DuckDuckGo. And as you can see, it's loading the onion domain. And once this loads, now the Tor network can be a bit slow, so it may take a while to load. Once it loads, you'll be greeted with the DuckDuckGo homepage. 
And you'll notice that if I hover over this no script icon on the top right, it'll show that the JavaScript for this page has been blocked as per our security settings. You will also notice that if you go ahead and click on the info icon in the address bar, that the Tor circuit will appear as a dropdown. Now the Tor circuit is essentially a series of steps that show how this browser connects to the destination website, in this case the DuckDuckGo onion domain. Now the way that it works is the connection is routed through a series of nodes which help obscure where exactly our request is originating from, which means from the destination website's point of view, they have no idea who is requesting the website and they have no idea who you are, and that really helps to keep your anonymity and security online. Now, even better than that is that the Tor circuit is unique for every website you visit. So for example, this is the one for DuckDuckGo. If I head on back to the deepweb.pw tab, if I click on the info icon again, you can see that the Tor circuit is different for this website too. And that's really nice. So now you are ready to go ahead and start browsing the dark web all by yourself. There's a few good links here on deepweb.pw to get you started. There's some search engines that can help you search for more dark web sites. There's the Onion subreddit, which is a really good community for discussing onions and has a list of a whole bunch more. And yeah, you're all set, ready to go. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And don't forget to bookmark deepweb.pw and subscribe to that RSS feed too, to stay up to date with new posts, tools, and techniques for staying secure online. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.